Hi everyone, today's topic is an interesting one. It's come up a few times before, especially in the digital era that we live in, but I wanted to tackle it in more detail and discuss the pros and predominantly the cons of a long distance relationship. The reason I say predominantly the cons because it's hard enough to be in a relationship in today's day and age when someone is near you and you see them all the time. It's that much more harder to trust and to build something solid when it's over a long distance or online because online relationships resonate a lot with long distance relationships. The difference is with a long distance relationship, you've met the person before and due to some circumstances, you ended up being worlds apart in distance. Online relationship is someone that you may have met online, you've built a relationship and yet you guys live far apart and your lives are very separate. That's the only difference, but the emotions and the emotions are all the same. Now, if this topic's for you, then please watch this video. It's really helpful to understand all the pros and cons and things that you should consider when going into a long distance relationship. If you haven't been to my page before, I'm Hamasa, welcome. I look at mental and emotional well-being as well as day-to-day -day issues and just general personal development topics. Please do subscribe to my page so that you're up to date with my weekly videos. I'm just going to jump into this and talk about a long distance slash online relationship. It's absolutely amazing. It's a fantasy if you're in it and you're living it and it's at the good stage because all you're doing is communicating to the person that you really like. And there's ample amount of communication because you guys chit chat all the time because that's the only way you can stay connected. And so you discuss all your hopes, wishes, dreams. And you find that most times a lot of these things coincide. And so you have so much in common with this person that the people that you meet in real life just pales in comparison. Now, why is that? Most times when we don't have a reality to compare to, it's very easy for us to run away with our imagination. Because what we do, like reading a book, when we read those words on a page to us, we build our version or our image of what the scene is about. That's why when you go and watch a movie remake of a book, it, you kind of, most people are left disappointed because it doesn't match with their personal imagination. That's exactly what happens with a long distance relationship. It's a fantasy that you build in your head, your version of events from the words that your partner is telling you. But the reality of that is usually very, very different. It could be better, but it could be worse. And most times, obviously, because it's in our head, we build the most perfect version of events. So the reality just does not compare. And so we're left feeling very disappointed and confused. And what happens with most long distance relationships is that we see each other in small bubbles of like period of time. And psychologists and so on, the, prof the professionals believe that if you don't spend a solid hundred hours, it could be spread out over a period of time, but a hundred hours at least with someone, then you haven't actually built the basic foundations of that relationship. It's just fun and game and superficial. It's on the surface because when you see each other for three, four days at a time, over a long period of time, you're in this perfect bubble. It's like a holiday fling. You want to both make the most of it. Even things that may bother you in a normal circumstance, you don't necessarily want to bring it up because you don't want to ruin the moment. You don't get to spend that much time with them. So the time that you do spend, you don't want to spend arguing. So what happens is that you get a representative of the person that you're dating, not the real them. And you're also sending a representative of yourself because in other, any other circumstance, you may have reacted differently. But due to this being a snippet of the relationship, you don't want to ruin it and so you bite your tongue. So if you haven't spent a whole, a whole solid 100 hours with someone, you cannot even say that you've dated for X amount of months because you've been in a fantasy, not the real, what a real relationship needs for it to have strong, solid foundations for things to get built and have a future.
So if you find yourself in a position where you have to go into a long distance relationship due to circumstances, someone moving away, job, family, university, education, whatever that may be, and it makes you guys have to make a decision that you have to be in a long distance relationship, the things to consider, or if you find yourself meeting someone online and getting into a relationship, the things to consider is there are several stages for you to bear in mind. I'm just going to summarize them. And the first thing that I'd say to you guys is to have a deadline, a time scale. If there's no such thing and you guys have not discussed this before the move happens or when you guys first meet and set a date to meet or consider meeting, forget about it. There's no point even continuing this if there is no end in sight. At some point, someone has to make a sacrifice, compromise the move to be together. So you need to have a deadline. You need to know when you're going to see each other next or for the first time. It needs to be set in stone and it needs to be discussed. If there's no deadline or no end game or no meeting date, no point continuing. Second thing to consider is when you make a decision to go into a long distance relationship is to understand that you're going to go through these stages and the first one is transitional. So when, he, when the transitional stage happens, then it still works and it looks good because it's new. You guys are adapting. The person that's moved away is still quite new to their environment. So they probably don't have friends and routine. And so a lot of their time is spent talking to you on the phone and vice versa because you guys are trying to have each other involved in your lives as much as possible. And so you are constantly talking, communicating, being fun, and you're excited to tell each other about your new routines and new days. So the transitional period is usually good and great and it gives you hope. But then comes the next stage. So once the realization hits, which is the next day, stage is when you realize that hold on things are not as I thought or as rosy as I imagined them to be you start missing them you start feeling the gaps when you need that support you're feeling poorly and you want your partner to come and take care of you they're not there so the realization stage is when the dust settles the honeymoon period of the long distance fades and then you're like wow I'm actually a lot of the times alone and my fingers alone typing isn't giving me the kind of support or um, affection that I need. So from the realization stage, then the jealousy stage, which is the next stage, slowly sets in because you feel like, oh, I'm spending so much time missing this person, thinking about this person, and they're having a good time and they just posted a picture with their new friends and they're doing all these amazing things. So I'm falling behind. I'm no longer a part of their life. And so the jealousy creates doubt. Now the doubt stage is the make or break of any long distance relationship or online relationship because this is when the cracks begin to show. With the jealousy, I'm not just referring to love and romance interests. Jealousy could be of colleagues, friends, family that get to spend more time with your partner than you. Even if they're spending so much time with their best friend and they're just not texting you as much as you'd like to, you're gonna start feeling jealous of this person because they get you feel like they're taking your time away from the from you. So therefore, the doubt is like the climax of any long distance relationship, because when you start being doubtful and you start questioning the security of your relationship, the intensity of your relationship or where it's going, and especially if the doubt is from both sides, not just one side, then this is could be potentially very threatening to your relationship and the cracks will show because when the doubt sets in, the longer you go without seeing each other, the more that doubt takes precedence and becomes your main thoughts and sentiment towards your relationship. You're constantly questioning things and trust isn't built. It's incredibly difficult to build trust over long distance because you are only going by someone's words and words alone do not necessarily earn trust. Actions do and time does. So when you see someone earning your trust and being there for you and not betraying you, not letting you down, is when you really start relying on them and trusting them. So when that's on the phone and it's just a matter of them speaking, for all you guys know, I could sit here and say, 
right now I'm having you know a big CEO meeting with a bunch of board of directors and you will never know any better because it's just my words but my reality is different I'm sitting here making a video this is what I mean when it comes to like oh I would never hurt you I would never do such thing I would never betray you they're just words someone hasn't done the due diligence or hasn't done the actions to back those words for you to really give your heart and trust away so that's why these doubts appear in long distance relationship so in order to overcome that one you have to make sure that you've set a date to see each other and not give each other like long periods of time apart because that does really break make or break you and the second thing is or my last point in this is that when you do begin to go through this doubting stage, that when you speak to your partner, you both get emotionally validated. This could also break relationships that are face to face. So it's not having to say that just because it's long distance, if there's no validation, it'll break down. It could happen in face to face relationships too, but it's that much more important and crucial in long distance relationships. Because if you're gonna to go to your partner with your issues and problems and doubts and all the you know, second thoughts that you're having, they need to be able to overcome that with you, support you, guide you through it, reassure you and give you the security that you're looking for. And you should be able to do the same thing back for your partner and validate each other's feelings that it's okay you feel like this, I understand. This is what we'll do to address it. This is what we'll do to overcome it. Now, if you guys go through this a few times and you're both not getting the validation, then most likely the relationship will start breaking down. However, if you do do this and you guys come through out of it, come through it and come out of it stronger and you choose to choose each other over and over again and choose to make things work, hear each other out, support each other and be emotionally understanding of each other's needs, then most likely that your relationship will survive this long distance as long as you do have an end date inside and once you get together you've communicated and overcome all your obstacles when you were in a long distance relationship so when you're together it becomes much more easier to read each other and to judge situations so if you've managed to do it in a long distance then most likely you've overcome the doubt stage you've validated each other you will last in the real world the only thing I'm having to say is that bear in mind and please be aware that it's so easy to run away with our version of the person that we built in our heads. And usually that's the best, per most perfect version because we want that. And so our imag imagination and what we project or the things that we want, we impose on this person without giving them the opportunity to be their re real self. So we're falling in love or liking the version that suits us the most, not what the reality is. That's why I say, that if you don't have a solid foundation and a good understanding and great communication skills, then most likely a long distance relationship is just a fantasy figment of your imagination and not really what real relationships are about. Really think carefully and understand what's at stake and be realistic about the situation. Find yourself, rely on yourself for your happiness, understand that your partner being away cannot fulfill that and manage your expectations and really take each day as it comes rather than running away with your imagination. I know all of this is very much easier said than done, but you have to consider those things to protect yourself and not fall into this pit, like into this rabbit hole of things that what it could be like, not what it really is. I hope you guys found this helpful. I hope you've enjoyed this. Thank you so much for joining me. Please do subscribe to my channel or share this with someone who may need it. Like and comment on this video, share your opinions or your experiences of long distance relationships. And I will see you here again next week. Thank you so much for watching. Mwah.